I, I, I was counting the dogs in our house, and I, I, I think we had about three, three dogs, and I was like, man, that's a, I, I got really excited. I was like, man, uh, so I was in the kitchen at the time, and I, I walked through the living room, and I saw my mom, and my mom was just laying there, just like, like almost like paralyzed, and my father was, um, he was sitting on the ground, and my mother was behind him on the couch, just laying back. And they were like zombies almost. Not like zombies from The Walking Dead, but they're just like couch potatoes. And they were sitting there, and maybe they're watching the TV on the other side. And the TV was like right next to the front door of my house, the trailer that I was born and raised in Forest Grove, Oregon. And I was just there, and then I went into my uh, my sister's room, Crystal, Crystal's room. And uh, maybe I was there first, but like I was, I was thinking about it, and I was like, man, we have more... We have more dogs now, for the first time ever. We have more dogs than cats, for the first time ever, and it's amazing. We always had a lot of cats growing up. I grew up, like, we had, like, one dog named Blackie or, or Charlie, the gray cat, I mean, dog, a gray cat, dog, I mean, dog, cat, dog, you know, it's a dog. Uh, we had a dog, and it was gray or something, and furry, very furry and hairy, you know, like a monster, like a Bigfoot or something, and, and, and then I don't know what happened. Maybe he just died because he was so small and old, like Quincy, the dog next door in Space 163, and, like Bender's in and Kyle Fender's in. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Like small dogs are cute too, but you don't know how old they are. And the, the dog next door, was, to, he was very old. The dog next door to us was very old. But um, we had like at least two dogs. I only remember two dogs growing up. And one was maybe Harry and uh, uh, kind of small but cute and it would always wake me up in the morning. And then the other dog was like uh, black maybe and had less hair. And was more loyal, maybe, and wasn't as dumb, maybe. Not to be against dogs or animals in general. Animals are dying. Animals are dying. Animals are dying. Da -da -da -da. Get out of my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and no animals were harmed in this film, and no spoilers either. Either. But, but you know, like, um, you know, I really like the dogs. I, I usually like dogs, even though I like cats more, because cats don't bite as hard or scream as loud and uh, you can put them outside and they don't run away. I mean, sometimes they do, but usually cats come back. You put dogs outside, they will run after the cats and then they will get lost or they get crazy and they may never come back. They might not come back. So dogs are a little more dangerous and you have to keep an eye on them because they might bite your two-year-old kid and you have to put them to sleep. And when I say sleep, I mean they're never going to wake up again. You know, off your head, off with your head, off with the dog's head. But I mean, you know, dogs are okay, and you know, the dog is a man's best friend. And and uh, I don't know what happened to our first dog, but then I had another. We had another dog named Blackie or something. That sounds kind of racist, said Obama. Yes, we can be racist. Okay. <laughs> yes, we can. Um, but like one day, like I was like about five years old, and and the dog ran away. Or somebody came into our backyard because the dog was tied up in the back and, and somebody came.